One of God's first commands to mankind was to take dominion over creation. Now that means study, understand, and control. That is, in essence, science. Why? Because we learn things from creation. An example of this happened in 1889. In 1889, Paris, France hosted what today we would call the World's Fair. It was the World Exhibition at that time. And it was to be an, a periodic showcase of the accomplishments and the buildings and the knowledge of mankind. People from all over the world came to these events. Now, before the fair started, they had a contest to see who could design and build the most magnificent structure ever constructed by mankind. Now, the architects of the day, the engineers of the day, they all sent in designs, but it was not an architect or an engineer that won. It was someone outside of those fields. Uh, it was someone familiar with human anatomy. Now, this man looked at the design of the human body for his inspiration. All the buildings of that day, the high skyscrapers, were built straight up with their foundations right underneath of them. Um, but nobody had built a building even as tall as the Great Pyramid in 4,000 years of human history. This engineer designed a building taller than anything that had been built in the last 4,000 years, constructed entirely of iron. It weighed millions of pounds. The experts scoffed. They said, it's going to collapse because he'd thrown the supporting structure outside of the main center of weight. Just like the human body, the hips are located outside of the center of mass of our body, throwing the support to the outside edges. Who was this engineer? Gustav Eiffel. And now you know what I'm talking about. He constructed the Eiffel Tower with the structure being supported outside of the center of mass of the tower based on the design of the human body. And it didn't collapse. And it's one of the greatest tourist attractions in all of Europe to this day because he trusted the design God created to guide his designs.